September 3, Thursday, Memorial of St. Gregory the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the Word of God, He was standing by the lake of Genesareth. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish, they had made cyst him and all those with him, and likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord Astonishment at the catch of fish Jesus preaches in the area of Genesaret populated by a mixture of Jews and non-Jews. Strangely, many people listen and accept him here. While Jesus encountered rejection in his own hometown of Nazareth, again Jesus displays that his teachings have power and authority matched with the miraculous catch of fish. Luke's narrative has strong similarities with the post-resurrection appearance reported in John chapter 21. Simon Peter realizes that his human effort is futile because he is a sinful man. Yet with the Spirit of God in him, his preaching will have tremendous success, as reported in Acts chapter 2, verses 14 to 41, where 3,000 persons will accept his message and be baptized. Today's preachers should also remember the words of St. Paul, For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power, and in the Holy Spirit, and with much conviction.